I'm so excited. Look at this. Two Xeons X5650s, 32 gigs of ECC memory and 12 freaking drive spaces. This episode is brought to you by CDCovers.com. CDCovers offers a wide variety of software or game keys for a fraction of the usual retail price. You can get your usual PC game codes or even library codes for things like Steam, Uplay and Origin. But the most important part for us are the software codes. Here we can get software activation codes for things like MS Office or Windows 10 for a ridiculously cheap price. And right now you can also use the promo code TS20 to get a 20% discount to make the already cheap Windows 10 license even cheaper. If you want to get that nasty activation message away, make sure to head down to the links in the description below and don't forget to use the promo code TS20 for a 20% discount. So I bought myself my very first server, a Dell Power Edge R510. And you might say it's old, and you would be right. You might say it still runs on DDR3 memory, and you'd be right. You might also say that configuring it is a pain in the ass compared to a off-the-shelf NAS, and you would also be right. But there is a whole story behind it, so first hear me out. Somewhere around 2017, I bought one of these small VD MyCloud things, a small little one bay NAS with a 3TB disk in it. And back then this channel already existed, but it was tutorials only. So already MP4 encoded screen recordings and separate MP3s for my text. So one to five gigs of data per video. So with a three terabyte NAS, I had plenty of time until it would max out. Then in April of this year, then in April of this year, we started to do reviews, builds and whatnot, but now with my ugly ass face, so we had to use a camera. And back then I was using my Nikon D5300. Still everything in MP4 with 10 to maybe 60 gigs per video, depending on the amount of B-rolls. So at that point, my little NAS started to fill up a bit faster. And now about one or two months ago, I bought the new camera, a Panasonic Lumix S5. A great camera, 4K60 RAW, 10-bit, amazing. But this meant that for longer videos, we started to generate almost 200 gigs of raw footage. So you can only imagine how quickly my NAS was maxed out and I had to offload my stuff on random hard drives or even USB drives that I had lying around. So I had to come up with a solution that would give me a couple of years of storage. And I had a couple of possibilities. I could buy an off-the-shelf NAS with a couple of bays and just fill it with pretty big drives. Now the issue here was that 6 or 8 bay NASs are pretty close to a 1000 euro price tag without even the drives. Possibility number 2 would be to build a own small storage server. Just some random mainboard, random CPU, random RAID controller and a couple of drives. Now the issue here was that if I would buy everything brand new I would still end up upwards of 500 euros without the drives assuming that I even cheap out on basically every component. But there was a way better way which would also guarantee that I could use it for a fairly long period. Because it turns out that there are a whack ton of refurbished servers for extremely cheap prices right on eBay. So I settled for this Dell PowerEdge R510 from 2010. It was shipped from the UK and with shipping I ended up spending around 320 euros for a working server with 12 drive spaces. Try to build a DIY 12 drive NAS for that price. Okay, now I have it and as expected, not everything is as perfect as it seemed to be. Something that you must know about the refurbished tag is that sure, it will work, it will. But the look and the included stuff are up to the seller and they will probably just use the image of a brand new system. Okay, so for the unit that I got here, just one small little thing was missing, the drive caddies. Now that's really the smallest issue it can be. Just, just hop back onto eBay or even Amazon and you can get them for around 10 euros a piece. And once I got that, I was ready to go. Now, this video will certainly not be about how to set up a server, that's a whole other topic, but more about the fact that you can sometimes just buy a refurbished server from eBay and just save so much money. But for the people out there that are interested into buying one of these, a small little thing that took me some time to figure out. In this specific model, we have two extra drive spaces for two and a half inch drives 
inside, which are probably meant for operating systems or whatnot. Now we've used an SSD in here and the issue was that the server was just not seeing the drive. And after a couple of drive switches, I realized that the SAS cable at the other end where the RAID controller is, was just not plugged in. So save yourself some time and check it. Anyway, so now we got ourselves one, yeah, one single Ironwolf Pro 12 terabytes because the SCS budget is far from being big enough to just slap 12, 18 terabyte Iron Wolves in here. So the general idea here is that this 12 terabyte should keep us going for about a year or maybe even two. And then hopefully somewhere before that, we will have the budget to just fill the whole damn thing. Or maybe Seagate will hit us up. It does look kind of sad, doesn't it? Anyway, this should be it for my improvised solution. And now I can finally put it somewhere far away from my microphone and start throwing all kinds of stuff in here. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And you can always leave your opinion with a thumb up, thumb down or the comment section below. And make sure to be subscribed because now where I have some space on this thing, I can finally start to record my NZXT Kraken M22 video. But until this one is out, have a look at one of these totally random videos.